over the last couple of weeks, I have attained quite a few new follows and I'm super excited that y'all are here to enjoy the content. I've had some people reach out asking me, what did I do before this? How am I working with FanDuel? Um, what, how did I get into betting? So I figured what a better time to reintroduce myself and have an AMA. That's usually an ask me anything, but we'll change it to a ask Meg anything. So I took to Twitter and said, hey y'all, what do you wanna know? First question, top three TV shows, non-reality of all time. Um, so I've said it on Twitter before, the first season of True Detective is my all time favorite TV ever. I love Matthew McConaughey. I think it is literally perfection. And the fact that it was filmed just 30 minutes down the road from my house, that's a nice little cherry to the top. Um, I would say Game of Thrones goes in at second place. I think it's just an absolute masterpiece. Um, and I think third, there's a lot that could tie for third, um, but I think my top would be the Fargo series, especially season one with Billy Bob Thornton. If you haven't seen that show, I would go check it out right now. This next question is close to my heart and I also wanna give this Louisiana guy a shout out. Um, I believe he took my boy Joe Burrow to win the Heisman at 200 to one. So if you need any future gambling advice, maybe hit this dude up. Um, his question is, one of the great Louisiana based arguments, are you dipping your crawfish in butter or sauce or are you just raw dogging the mofos? And for me personally, I'm just raw dogging the mofos. The only thing I need to enhance the flavor of my crawfish is an icy cold brew. So this next question, are you superstitious? Um, I wouldn't say that I'm superstitious, but I would say that I'm a little stitious. Next question, how many games do you think LSU will win this year? Um, I feel like they're gonna be underrated. If Miles does get the job, um, he's shown that he can conduct that team. I think they might be good for nine or 10 wins this season. Don't, don't count my Tigers out. So this next question is, what is your hottest winning streak? And I'm gonna go ahead and parlay that with this next question, which is, did you ever think that being that dude's wife that went on a 13 and 0, I think that was the streak run on a gambling subreddit two NFL seasons ago would lead to being one of the faces of FanDuel? Firstly, I wanna correct and address the first question. The hottest winning streak was a 15 and 0 run and yes, that was two NFL seasons ago on a subreddit, and I was known as that dude's wife. Um, and no, I didn't think that it would get me here, but I am sure happy that it did. So this next question was actually one of my favorites, and it was, what would 14-year-old Megan think of Megan today? And um, at 14, I didn't know whether I wanted to be a crime scene investigator, that you know, the one that figured out what happened with the bodies, or whether I wanted to be a sports reporter. Obviously, I am neither of those things, um, but 14-year-old Megan would have wanted to be herself no matter what, and that's something that I've carried with me my entire life is just me being myself, and for the most part, unapologetically. Um, so 14-year-old Megan would absolutely love this version of myself. Um, she probably wouldn't expect to be married or to have kids, um, but she would be super duper happy, and as I said, proud of where 28 year old Megan is now. Next question, Miracle Whip or mayonnaise? You can miss me with that Miracle Whip. I only do mayonnaise, that is it. I am not a serial killer, I like mayonnaise. Next question, and I feel like it's important to clear this up. Do you bet to make money or just for entertainment with the bonus of making money? I bet for a hobby. This is a hobby. I am not a professional gambler. I am not seeking out lines at multiple different books. I do this for fun and I create content for my work. I put out picks because that's what I enjoy and as I said, it's my hobby, but I want all of you to make sure that you're doing your own research first and not just following me blindly because as I said, I do not consider myself a professional. I just do it as a hobby. It's something that I love, I enjoy, and I hope you guys love and enjoy it with me. What was your career before FanDuel? Well, my career before FanDuel is my career now, and that is me being a stay-at-home mom of two kiddos. I have one um, kid that will be eight in August, and the other one turned three in February. They are absolutely amazing, and that is my favorite job in the entire world. 
All right, y'all, that's all I have for this week. Unfortunately, I didn't get through all of the questions on video, but please know I literally read them all and thank y'all so much for submitting them, for thinking of them, for thinking of me, and for helping me create content this week. Y'all are the real MVPs. Best of luck and let's make some money.